<laughs> yeah, yeah, I want all the rest. Besides all right, the so numbers. most malpractice suits, right? We have all these premises. This is a long one. You just have to kind of wade your way through it. Then it's asking for which one of the following answers is most strongly supported by these statements, right? So is this a must-be-true question? No. No, just most strongly supported, right? It's really close to must be true, but the correct answer doesn't have to be must be true. It's just which one is most likely to be true. What answers are we debating? A, B, B, C, and E. B. Whoa. So we got A, B, C, and E. All right, let's start with A. Economic incentives to treat patients rudely are the main cause of doctors being sued for malpractice. What word makes this wrong? Main cause. Main. To treat, to treat rudely throughout. No, but it says... Why would they be economically incentivized to treat patients rudely? It says that in the last sentence. Last sentence. Certain economic incentives encourage doctors to treat patients rudely, but we don't know if that's the main reason that they act negligently or carelessly. But isn't it suggesting that? It is suggesting that it is a reason they act rude and careless, but it is not necessarily the only reason. It's like a sufficient condition. Economic incentives encourage doctors to treat patients rudely, as do horrible weather, as do poor lighting, as do horrible bosses. But I just feel like because this whole thing is about avoiding lawsuits, like avoiding them from treating patients rudely, and then this is the one thing that it says. Unfortunately, like there are these things in place that prevents it from not happening. Yeah, but it's just it's just a set of facts. It's just dun 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 dun. You can't if they said it was the only thing that encouraged doctors to treat patients rudely, then yeah, it would be the main cause. But But wouldn't that not have been the only thing that they said? Well you're assuming that because they didn't say it, it must not be true. Yeah, because I feel like this whole paragraph was about Is there anything in this paragraph that says, by the way, I'm limiting myself to just the things that cause them to act negligently or carelessly. No, what I mean is that by emphasizing this one thing, like after having spent all this time talking about why they act rudely or that they act rudely, okay. by just specifying one thing that leads to their rudeness, Yeah. in my mind that says, well, hey, that this that is the biggest there are no other why. things? Well, not that there are no other things, but this is the biggest contributing factor. Yeah, unless they say that. that that's like, that's kind of a bedrock LSAT Probably. I know, but now I just I'm at the point where I'm overthinking. Is I this, is this like? Yeah, okay. I think there's some support for it. Like okay. we don't we don't know if there's any other reason that they act yeah. carelessly or negligently, but that's the problem. Okay. And since we don't know whether other things contribute, and um, if they do, and they do so more than economic incentives, then bam. Yeah. A is wrong, right? right. Okay, B. Uh, the economic incentives in the healthcare system encourage doctors to regard medicine as a science rather than as an art. I feel like what... I just want to know why B is wrong. It the art part, like it doesn't seem like that. Yeah. So, it is true that many doctors now regard medicine as a science rather than as an art and are less compassionate as a result. So because they view it that way, they're less compassionate. But what made them view it that way? I don't know. Yeah. Just stated out of the blue. Mm. Many... Not, so are they saying, oh wait, so does this also suggest why A is wrong? Because it's saying the rudeness are like economic incentives and this like regarding of science rather than art. I don't feel like A necessarily touches on the whole science art thing. Well, no, 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 it doesn't, sorry. But because cause it says they now regard medicine as a science rather than an art, and as a result are less compassionate. Oh, yeah. So this is one of those reasons. It adds one of those yeah. reasons. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So now it's, it is one of those reasons that we were thinking didn't even exist. Okay. There's one. Got it. Yeah, so that would make A even worse. All right, um, C, malpractice suits brought against doctors are, for the most part, unjustified. Did they ever talk about what was justified or unjustified? No. These are bad, these are good. Yeah. Can we go back to B really quickly? Yeah. So then, but how do we know that the, that the author isn't making a link between economic incentives and regarding medicine of science rather than in art? Like, those two things don't have to be independently linked to acting rudely. 
like the actual... Well, they're, it's saying that they're less compassionate as a result um, because they resi- regard science as... regard medicine as science and as an art. And because they say... Of the economic thing, such and there's just a whole... Well, they don't. They don't ever. They don't ever explicitly link the two. So we don't know if they're linked or if they're just two separate, independent qu- causes or factors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I agree with you. It could be true. But they're not saying that it is. We don't know if it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, they ne- C is wrong because they never talk about what's justified. D. The scientific outlook in medicine should be replaced by an entirely different approach to medicine. That's like extrapolating way too much from this, right? Is anyone tempted by D? No. Okay. Doctors foster by their actions the perception that they do not really care about their patients. Um, is this the most supported? That their actions uh, change the perception of their patients? Yes. Yeah. It says... Most malpractice suits arise out of patients' perceptions that their doctors are acting negligently, and that happens because harried doctors sometimes treat patients rudely, which discourages them from asking questions, etc. So, this is it. This is not necessarily must be true, but it's the most strongly supported by far. Any other questions on this one? Yeah. 